I just really want to do a quick product review of the Under Armour um, Cold Gear, Cold Gear Mach. This is the compression. So compression means that it's going to stay really close to your skin as if it's a second layer of skin. Fitted ones are basically looser fitting. And um, I got one right here so you can see the difference. There's a looser fitting one. This is an Under Armour. This one's actual, actually a small. This one is a small, the compression, compression one. Um, I think I should have got a medium, but this one is very tight fitting, extremely tight fitting. I probably should have got a medium, um, but I don't like it because the new way that they developed it is is really so tight. It's really hard to take off, you know, especially if you're sweating. It's a really pain to take it off. Um, I have one from Reebok as well. This one's a medium, but the, the, the material of it is a lot stretchier, as you can see, like right here. And then it's a lot easier to take off. Um, one thing is I don't like getting my hair all messed up, so um, I don't like the Under Armour in the, to, the, to the point where it really messes up my hair and I got to refix my hair and everything. It's so hard to take off. Um, you see on the top right here, it's not that elastic. It's, you know, you don't really can't really move it that well. If you see me put this on... And you see me take it off. Right now I'm not sweating. But this newer type is really hard to take off. I had an older version. Even though it's medium, it's a lot easier to take off. It's a lot better than this one. But I just I just say, you know, when you order this stuff, make sure you try it on to make sure that it's okay. Because this stuff is not it's not um, cheap, you know. It's pretty expensive. So you put this on like this. And this is like super tight. It's like way too tight for me. You know, I don't like... I don't like I don't like it, but it's just basically stuck with it now. So this is how I normally would take it off. Like you really have to kind of you gotta peel one side here like this. You gotta bring up this side like this. Peel it off like here. Get one over the shoulders. As you see how hard it is. Like this. Once you get this out, then you gotta pull this right here. To get the arm out. Okay, got one arm out. Now you gotta pull right here. Get the other arm out. You see how like super tight this is. It's like a small too. And then now I gotta get the collar out. I'm pulling it right here. And I'm trying to get it over my head so I don't mess up my hair. And then there it is. It's finally out. It's so hard to get, get in and out. So this is the compression one. This is the fitted one. Now the problem with the fitted one, it's loose fitting so it's not going to be so close to the skin. So it might not look as nice, a little baggy, but it's easier to put on obviously. So you see me putting it on right here and then putting the top over and then right here. This is considered the fitted. It's not as tight as the other one. There's some more room right here, some more slack in my the mock. And this is how the fitted one looks. Okay, it's not compression. This is fitted. This is actually a small Under Armour. Okay, um, it it's easier to take off. Watch me take it off here. I just kind of roll it up here, like this, and then just go over the head, and then the head is out, and then I just take off the arms. Do you see how much easier this was to take off than the other one? This is considered the fitted one. This was a small, the other one was a um, small. Now we got the, um, the Reebok version. I bought this a long time ago, but this one is considered a, a medium. So this is a medium and it's, a, it's, very, it's very easy to put on, very flexible. Uh, when I think about it, the quality of it is, in my opinion, better than the, than the Under Armour. I'm just putting it right here over my head really quick. It's a compression. It's not just the fitted, it's the compression. And um, very easy to, to put on, very easy to take off. Okay, so it's here, and then if you want to take it off, just kind of roll it up here. But, but then again, this is a medium, just right here, and then right, right over my head, and I didn't have to mess up my hair. So, But this is a bigger size, this is a medium, but I think even if I had a small, it'd be just fine. Um, Reebok just doesn't have as much marketing and it's not as popular as the Under Armour, but when I think about it, this Reebok one that I have right here is actually a better quality, um, in my opinion. 
than the Under Armour. I'm just upset about this one because it's so small. But, you know, I, I can't return it anymore because, you know, it's, it's like way over the time. And I got two of these, and it's just annoying, you know, how tight it really is. And I'm not even a big person. I mean, I only, I only weigh 145 pounds and 5'5". Five five. So, if I could barely fit a small, I don't know who's supposed to be wearing the small, you know. So, um, I would need at least the medium when it comes to unarmored. But, you know... I highly recommend to try it out, you know, go to the store, try out the different brands, and then if you want to get a bit better deal, then you can order it online after you try it on. But if you order it online, and then you got to ship it back because it's not the right fit and everything. It's just a really big pain. But this is my, my honest review on it. I really like this these type of shirts um, for the winter time, but you just got to get the right one. It's just that right one and the right size try the different brands um, try the fitted ones compared to the compression ones and see which ones you prefer um, maybe I used to really like the compression but not if the thing is so hard to take off that's just really annoying because I'm like working out and I'm getting hot now and I need to take it off and and if it's hard to take off it just gets it really becomes annoying you know so just make sure that you buy the right one that's all I say